purpose of this video is to help students at Appleton East, North, and West understand how to import their 2022-23 course requests into Infinite Campus. To complete this process, you're going to need two things. One is your scheduling worksheet. Two is access to and logged into Infinite Campus. The scheduling worksheet, the first item, should look something like the ones you see pictured on the screen. These scheduling worksheets are organized within the credit areas that all students need to consider when they're requesting classes for next year, as well as listing some specific course options that you have available to you. Having your scheduling worksheet with you and completed will be absolutely critical. To help us for this video, I've made a fake student's uh, course request. I've completed Tess Jones's scheduling worksheet. Test is a current freshman and going to be a sophomore next year. And so I've gone through in each one of the credit areas, ELA, Social Studies, Science, Math, PE, and electives, and just selected classes for te uh, tests to take for next year. The second item that we said we're going to need for this process is logging into Infinite Campus, the student portal. So let's get in there now. So I'm logged into Infinite Campus under our fake student, Tess Jones. Hopefully your login screen when you get into Infinite Campus looks something similar. What you're going to want to do is look to the sidebar over here. You're looking for more. Click that. We'll take you to some more options. The fourth one down here is course registration. You're going to click on that one. And then students at your specific high school, you're only going to see one of these, right? So um, if you're an East student, you're going to see a 22-23 East high school, North or West. I just happen to have all of them. Um, and so you're going to click on your high school and it's going to take you to this screen. I want to walk you through just a couple items that you're going to see here. Uh, first of all, uh, you're going to see up here, this is the status kind of bar up at the top. Going to help us as we go through the process to know how far along that we are with our course requests. It's also going to be an important area here is this add courses, which I'm going to show you in a second, is how you actually add those courses. But the thing I want to start with is just talk just a little bit about is this units here, which you can see because I haven't started, is 0 out of 14. I want to explain how and what these numbers mean because they're really important to make sure that we've got our scheduling complete. So those units that you saw there in Infinite Campus are kind of based on the chart that you see on the screen. If you're a next year's freshman, sophomore, or junior, the minimum number of credits you need to request is six. If you're a senior next year, the minimum number of credits you need is five. If I'm signing, if I'm test and I'm a sophomore next year, I have to have a minimum of six credits. Each class per semester is worth one point or one unit. And if I'm taking ELA, 10, for example, as Test had signed up for, I would get one point for first semester of ELA 10 and one point for second semester ELA 10. Therefore, ELA would give me two points. If I'm signing up for six credits, six times one times the two semesters would equal here of 12 total points. Freshmen, next year, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, the range we're looking for is you to get between 12 and 14 units or points. If you're a senior next year, you're looking to get points between 10 and 14. Hope that makes sense. So with that understanding uh, kind of behind us, now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take Tess Jones or your scheduling sheet, and I'm going to walk through each one of the areas one by one and sign up for the classes in IC. So have your scheduling sheets at the ready as you complete these steps. All right, I'm back here in Infinite Campus. So in looking at test scheduling sheet, the first area is ELA. And so it's pretty simple. What we're going to want to do is click add course. And when I do that, you're going to notice that it's going to pull up a, a, a beginning long list of courses that are in Infinite Campus. The way you're going to find your course is one of two ways. And you'll see these on your scheduling sheets, which will be helpful for you. You can find a course by typing in the name or you can find the course by the course number. So I'll, sh I'll start with showing you how to find it with a course number. So test is signed up for ELA 10. So I'm gonna type in the course number 1020. That's on my scheduling sheet. And then what you'll see is as you type that in, the courses with that number, 1020S1 and 1020S2 come up. And so to add a course is quite simple. The action field over here, I'm gonna click the plus button. It's gonna pull up a thing of asking you, how would you like to add this class? Are you adding it as a request or an alternate? Which in, we will get to the alternates in a second. In this case, I would like to request this class. So I click request. And what you're gonna notice is that my units has started to change. I've got one unit out of 14 and my status bar has moved. Now this is a really important step. 
With any year-long classes or classes worth one credit, you have to sign up for semester one and two. Signing up for just one semester is not enough. So Test is not done signing up for ELA 10 yet. He needs to go and also request semester two. Same idea. I click plus, I hit request, and that course now, both semester one and semester two has been added. I've got two units and I'm moving on a little bit farther in my status bar. So now when I look at my scheduling sheet, my next thing up is social studies. So I'm gonna click back. And now again, I'm gonna to look to add a course. There's a blue button down here at the bottom. I click add course. And now I'm gonna show you the other way I can find it. So Tessa decided to sign up for world history. So now instead of using the course number, I'm gonna type in the word world history. That's the name of the course. Now what you're gonna see is by typing in the name of the course versus the number, is it's gonna look through the IC catalog and pull up everything that has world history in its title. So you've gotta make sure you're uh, discerning which one of these that you're actually signing up for. I can look at test scheduling worksheet and I know that the world history he wants is 3170 and it's this one here. So same process now, I click plus, add request. Again, I'm not done, I didn't sign up for second semester yet. I'm gonna hit plus and hit request and now I've signed up for two classes, two year-long classes, or four total units. Make the video a little shorter, I went ahead and scheduled tests, uh, science, and math courses as well. So you'll notice now he's up to, he's got four year-long classes, he's up to eight units total. Um, just one kind of piece here, if you ever want to look at what the course is, if you're looking for a description, click on this arrow here, it'll pull up the class, uh, the name, the units, and the description of that class there. Uh, it's also a place where you can delete the request if you've made a mistake, but just wanted to point it out to you. The thing I wanna show you now is when you're adding semester only courses, so all the ones I've signed up to this point have been year long, but you can obviously sign up for semester long courses. So the process is same, but there's not a semester one, semester two. So I would click add course, test PE class is personal wellness, which I know is 0047. Pull it up here. Again, I could have typed in personal wellness as well or personal and would have came up. I click the plus button. I hit request. And now what's different is I'm done. Um, I've signed up for the only semester of personal wellness. My units went up to nine points. So here again is a view of Tess Jones scheduling sheet. Again, I've gone through my ELA social studies science PE, and I've actually gone ahead and also scheduled for my uh, elective classes. I was planning as Tess Jones to sign up for six total credits. And so I wanna show you what that would look like at this point in IC. So again, with six credits, that would be 12 units. They're all on my sheet, are listed here and requested, all under my requests. So I feel very good about that. I want to point out to you, I've got my 12 units. Now it says I'm only 86% complete, but I've decided that I wanna study hall both semesters. So I'm only signing up for six credits. So even though it says I'm only 86% complete, I'm done for what I need to do, except for one final and very important step in this process, which is to add my alternates. It is really important that all students enter their alternate courses because in the scheduling process, sometimes we can't get you into all the classes that you want. And we wanna make sure we have some idea of your plan Bs for classes. So to do this, the process is similar. I'm gonna add a course. I get that same search button, one of, Test alternate courses and alternate PE class was team games. So again, I'm gonna type in the number 0054 or I could type in team games, I click plus. Now here's the difference. Instead of adding it as a request, I wanna request this as an alternate. So I just click alternate here. You'll notice that it comes up as an alternate there. And now my units haven't changed, my percent complete hasn't changed, but when I go back to my course request list, I've got my original request, and now you'll see that my alternates are there. So I went ahead and added tests, uh, other alternate classes, small engines uh, class as an alternative, and now for test, I'm done. Now one last step in the process is there's nothing to say save. There's no final step in the process. This is a live document or a live process you're going through. So I don't need to click save, I don't need to submit. As I've entered these courses, it's adding it for me. So once you've gotten done, or you've gotten all the things from your scheduling worksheet onto IC, and you see that the number of units matches the number of requests 
um, and credits you intended, you're done. You can close out of IC and you're all requested for next school year. Hope this helped. Thanks.